The No Fade Channel checking in with another episode of Tight Wad Tuesday, where I provide you new dads with a trick to keep money in your pocket. Money that you can spend on your kids, on yourself, maybe even your wife. Okay, on today's episode, we're going to be talking about coffee. I know you dads are drinking a number of cups of coffee every day just to get through the daily grind. So I'm going to be giving you tips to save money. First, the number one way to save coffee is to use ground coffee. Buy it in bulk. You can make coffee through a traditional uh, drip pour. Uh, if, you're, if you're a lot younger than me, you might not even know what a traditional drip pourer is, but it's essentially a coffee maker where you put in scoops of ground coffee, hit the button, and you get coffee that comes out, all right? Now, another way to use ground coffee is to do the pour over. If you're not familiar with that, it's simply a, a way to make one cup at a time, um, very similar to a drip pour, except that you are pouring the boiling hot water over the coffee grounds yourself in a slow method, um, and it does take a little bit longer. Now, I like this method because it kind of like relaxes me. The, the process of actually making the coffee itself requires a little bit more patience, and uh, it's a little bit relaxing. But if you've got a busy family, uh, that's probably not something you have time for. So that's the number one way to save money. Now, the other way to save money, number two, is if most of you are probably using a Keurig coffee maker. They're very popular. You probably have one at home. And the trick is to get those K-cups as cheap as you can. Now, you want to buy them in bulk. You can buy them at BJ's, Walmart. You can look for sales. Um, they've got a long shelf life, so if you see a good sale, don't uh, be afraid to stock up. But I'm going to give you dads a secret trick on how to get a ton of savings. This is by far the largest savings per cup that I have ever found. Here's what you do. You go to Keurig.com and you sign up on Keurig.com. Then you register your Keurig. It's going to ask you for your Keurig's um, re uh, serial number. You put that in and they will email you a coupon for 50% off five boxes. Now I've done this a few times with different Keurigs and every time I get this coupon I save a crazy amount of money. I am getting uh, K-Cups uh, at 20 cents per cup. Keep in mind, my average good deal that I normally shoot for is 40 to 50 cents per cup. So it's definitely a great way to save a ton of money and uh, it's a great way to stock up as well. So consider that if you use Keurig uh, K-Cups. Now the third way, many of us are out and about, we've got busy lives, so we have to pop into Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks and other coffee shops, okay? So I'm gonna give you a few tricks to save money there. First and foremost is whatever coffee shops you use regularly, get the application. Even if you don't load any money to the app, get the application, you will get a free coffee on your birthday. So that goes for Starbucks, that goes for Dunkin' Donuts. One thing that's great about Starbucks, I know they are traditionally considered the overpriced uh, coffee chain. The thing that I like about them is that with the application, you get free refills. So most places don't give you free refills, Starbucks does. So if you're like me, you can go to a Target, get yourself a nice Starbucks coffee, shop around, drink your coffee, and on the way out, get a complete refill for nothing. All you have to be is an app uh, member, right? So again, that's all free. Definitely uh, highly suggest getting the apps, and I definitely suggest using Starbucks if you're going to be rocking that free refill. I do that on regular coffee. I do that on iced coffee as well. Now, here is another kicker. Here is probably the biggest way to save if you're an iced coffee drinker. When you go to a Starbucks or you go to a Dunkin' Donuts, you ask for iced coffee with no ice. It sounds crazy. Don't worry. The barista behind the counter has probably heard it all in terms of ordering, so it's nothing new. You ask for no ice and you bring your own ice. Now, I did a whole video on this about how when you ask for iced coffee, you're essentially paying for a big, huge glass of ice and a very little amount of coffee. But I can link that uh, whole video, if you're interested, right up here, here. But just for the sake of demonstration, I went and got a large iced coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. As you can see, no ice. Now, they were running a, a promotion, any iced coffee after 2 p.m., any size, $2. So this was $2.11. Now you can see, has no ice, it's very large. Now I have a glass of ice. This is an insulated cup. Most of you should probably be familiar with the size. It's quite large and I have it chocked full of ice. 
I'm going to show you the actual difference right here and now. Hopefully I won't spill it on myself. Here we go. All right. As you can see, didn't spill it on myself. Sorry for those of you who wanted to see me get a whole a lap full of coffee. You can see we've got iced coffee in the left hand, very large iced coffee in the left hand, and over half of the Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee left. You store this in the refrigerator, it will keep for days, but uh, I'll probably be drinking the rest of this tomorrow. To review, the number one way is to buy ground coffee in bulk and use a drip pour or a pour over. Number two, if you're using K-Cups, is to register your Keurig and get that huge 50% off coupon. Again, trying to buy K-Cups in bulk, keeping that price per cup down. Number three, if you're getting coffee on the run, definitely download the apps for whatever stores you regularly go into. And of course, if you're ordering iced coffee, get it with no ice. Let me know in the comments below how you're regularly getting your coffee. I hope you found this trick useful. I hope it saves you a ton of money. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.